Chuck, this is Bravo One. We still have a chance to grab Samir. We good? You can run, but you can't hide. That's a scene from the new CBS drama SEAL Team, which premiered last night. The military series follows the personal and professional lives of a group of Navy SEALs as they train for, plan, and carry out risky operations around the globe. Carter Evans went behind the scenes to show us how some former members of the military special operations forces helped guide the cast and the crew. In CBS's new drama SEAL Team, the military's elite are put to the test, tackling dangerous undercover missions abroad. Where's the home, boys? And life at home. And I realize it's a long shot, but it'd be great if you could come by one evening. It's the first week of new rotation. It's the latest project for star David Boreanaz. He spent nearly a decade playing a vampire in the popular series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Why are you following me? Don't worry, I don't bite, man. And its spin-off, Angel. And most recently, he starred as an FBI agent in the long-running TV hit, Bones. This is so different than everything else that you have been doing. Tell, tell me what the challenges are. It's tough when you, when you look up to these SEALs and, and understand what they do. Um, I didn't fully understand what these guys did, and when I when I signed on, it became more aware. You're gonna look back at all your guys coming up? Okay. Exactly. To tell the story of one of the military's most covert units, the show partnered up with real-life former members of the Special Forces. Like that. That's a good, it's a good technique to heal it. The majority of our time has been spent in the writer's room crafting stories. Former Navy SEAL Mark Simos and former U.S. Army Special Operations soldier Tyler Gray offered their guidance on and off screen. What we're trying to do as a group is make something that's not real, obviously, but make something that's authentic and that feels authentic. Set the so scene we, for me. we basically are coming in. We uh, visited the cast as they prepared to shoot a scene in which the SEALs try to rescue a group of hostages on a boat captured by terrorists. And had roll players. Ready and dive. And surface, surface. Looks like the party got a lot bigger than expected, huh? That's what happens when people don't RSVP. The show hey, Daddy. also explores life outside the operations, hey, something Gray, a nine year military veteran, knows all too well. Even when I'm in a scene, it's like the skill set that I worked on for so long, like, where do you go with that? Now where you where do you go? It now I get to use it. A big problem that a lot of people have is finding an outlet for it, and this is my outlet. We're all trying to find balance. We're all trying to find heroes. What on me? <laughs> if we can show that these heroes can be heroes, but they're humans, they're people just like the rest of us, that's what we want to do. Talk, this is Bravo 4. 11 hostages secured. Bravo for 22. CBS This Morning, Blast. Carter Evans, Los Angeles. Boy, it really is an idea that the SEALs have taken a hold in terms of sort of the American imagination. It's true, yeah. Um, it's true. People are fascinated by the Navy SEALs, who they are, what they do, and how they do it. Yeah, <laughs> mental and physical toughness and, yeah. and the risk that they take on um, parachuting into a place to, to accomplish a mission and hopefully come back. And so to see the humanity, I'm looking yes. forward to it. I had Things SEAL aspirations well. when Did I was you? a little girl, yeah. believe it or not. Wouldn't, wouldn't last a second in the seals. But. Well, I think you would have done all right, but well, better you're here. Yeah, better that I watch it <laughs> yeah. at home on television. And you can watch SEAL Team on Wednesday nights at 9, 8 Central right here on CBS. You can also catch up with the series on CBS All Access and Video On Demand.